Attention humans, it is May 2020. We have new news from Mindark. Official policy regarding participant organized events. Uh, you can read all of this on the Buzz Bulletin, but here's gambling activities are expressly forbidden in Entropy Universe. This was important so that we didn't get classified as an online casino. And now all participant organized events that include any sort of randomized winner selection and or prize distribution process or component are prohibited in Entropia Universe. To my reading of that, that says Mindark just hosed the big monthly progressive. Not the rest of the big stuff, because it's all based upon your actual skill. But the progressive is done. And so are some of those forum-based lottos and raffles and stuff. Um, oh well. Sucks. In weekly hunting stats, we have 3.8 million ped. 35,689 globals. Top in the list is big bulk. Weekly mining stats, we got 629,208, 4,903 globals. Topping the list is, of course, Listerium Stone. And weekly crafting stats, we got 4.196 million pet, 17,376 globals. And yes, lots of explosive projectiles. Although, thank you for making Terra Amps. Terminator T1001. Awesome. I've been a little busy this week, so I didn't go and get all the data from the site like I normally do. So I'm cheating. This is all from Entropia Loot. You can see the dividends on the right hand side here. Um, Arcadia Moon is paid out actually twice in a week. I'm pretty amazed by that. Um, Arcadia Underground is actually paying out quite well right now. I would be very happy with those kind of returns regularly, but it's because of the event that's recently been going on. Um, you can see the market is actually shifting around a little bit on the Eclipse of Land deeds and the Arcadia Underground deeds. These are the weekly figures rather than the monthly figures I normally quote. I prefer a 30 day trailing average. He labels Compet Deeds as defunct, and they are selling for 24 pet again. That's good. That's better. Um, Crystal Palace Deeds trending up a little bit. Um, Ancient Greece shares have still not all sold. Uh, still well under halfway. Looking at mineral composition, we have Listerium Stone, Calderite Stone, Iron Stone, Crude Oil, Narcanism Stone, Melchi Water, Lausarium stone, ganganite stone, growth molecules, and zinc stone. Growth molecules really sucks. There's like very few things that are worse than listerium, and growth molecules pretty much tops that list. In popular mobs, we have Annihilation Eviscerator, Big Bulk, Leviathan, Fefox, Aatrox, Proteron, Shub, Orly, Rextellum, and Ossicolum. Go Monry with those shubs still. Top crafters. Top miners. Top hunters. If you lose a little ground for Zippo Lincoln Mercury, you've gone down a spot again. But, uh, actually. You're doing really good getting less globals than these guys are who are getting a bunch more. Like, yeah, I'd rather have 937 globals that gave me 118,329 than 1142 globals that only gave me 118,293. I think I'd be much happier in, in that spot. Or even in the spot for the guy in 10th place. Baxter Bugsy E Wing. Getting good loot. Not necessarily bunches of globals, but they're nice ones. Let's take a quick look here at the Gorgon. As you see, 
There's only two globals in the last week on the Gorgon, but 25 in the last month. So that's still, um, let's see here. Digging out my calculator, because I didn't do this in advance. That's, uh, that's 1.2 million sweat burned up on, uh, summoning the Gorgon in the last month. Um, I think that we are burning through more sweat than we are generating in these days. Thank you for watching, humans, if indeed you still are. Sorry that this one was such a giant mess and really short for the month. I normally put in a lot more effort, but, uh... Yeah. Plague problems. Stay safe out there.